Hello and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we focus on making those tricky matte finishes as easy to repair as a regular job. These finishes are growing not only in popularity, but also with an increasing range of gloss level. To support you, we have developed a new matte clear coat system to allow easier processing and more consistent, right first time results. When OEM matte finished vehicles first appeared, they were more semi-matte or satin in appearance. And for some car manufacturers, this is still the case. The direction that we see now though, has moved towards finishes that are flatter with much lower gloss levels, such as those seen on Volkswagen Group vehicles, or for example, on the new Hyundai Ionic 5. Our focus today is on repairing this Fiat 500 in this lovely military green color. The matte level on this car is not so extreme and follows our standard process with our clear coat system. We will also explain how cars with a flatter finish should be managed as there are some small but important aspects that need to be considered. We are painting the full side and bonnet of this car and as you can see the prep work has already been done. Let's start now with how to approach the repair starting with colour retrieval as this is the most important part of the process. Having a clean car is essential as we need to make a spectro measurement and ideally this needs to be close to the damaged area. However, with matte finishes, you cannot simply polish the surface to remove any scratches or oxidation which is on the surface. So I recommend that you look for an area which is undamaged and free of scratches, free of surface contamination, as close to the repair as practically viable. Now that you have your chosen area, remove any initial contamination using silicone remover and or a waterborne cleaner. Follow this by using a cleaning product developed for matte finishes as shown. The final step is to make the surface ready for measuring by a final clean with waterborne cleaner. The measurement itself is as normal. So now let's see what's new and different when we connect and retrieve the color formula and determine the actual matte level for our car. Click on the spectro button, then search and select the measurement of the car. Car make and color code are already pre-filled in the search screen as this info was entered on the spectro. With the introduction of the additional digital shading function, the Spectro search screen has now been updated. You will see a gloss or flat button, which gives you the possibility to filter on matte colors when doing a Spectro search. So in this case, we select flat and click on the search button. For this color, we only have one formula and the values are looking good. There is no reason to doubt as the result is green. Let's now go to the formula screen. There is a message added in the formula information text box giving you the matte level or matte level group that is suggested for the formula. The same information is also shared with this matte level icon. The proposed matte level group for this Fiat color is matte level three. In ancillary products, we can find the corresponding mixing ratio of the required matte level. Go to ancillary mix, select clear, and then from the drop down, select the entry clear matte level ML one to six. Then select in the product tab, the matte level group that was proposed on the formula. In our case, it's ML3. Because the substrate will impact the final gloss, you also have to select the base coat or substrate you are working on. This is selected under the type tab. Each individual matte level group indicates a default mixing ratio of two clear coats and should be mixed accordingly. The default mixture of each matte level group is always shown at the top of the list of the possible mixing ratios within each matte level group. However, within each matte level group, you will have the possibility to select the adjacent mixing ratios in order to achieve the best matching gloss level. This option should be considered when preparing spray out cards. For further information on the different matte level groups and assigned mixing ratios and gloss units, Please refer also to the matrix table in the technical data sheet of the Mac Clear system. Now, back to the body shop. The final part is to make your spray outs and just remember to make them on a larger panel as part of our best practice recommendation and not on the end of your mixing stick. This is to ensure that the application method is identical to that that you will use later on the car. Although the matte mixture is specific for the color, there are other variables that can affect the final gloss level such as OEM variation, even on the same car. The age of the car, natural weathering, and how the car has been maintained and cared for, and of course, previous repair work. To be efficient, it makes sense to apply not only the default mixture of the suggested matte level group, but also samples either side to cover these possible variables. 
Label these spray outs for future use as they will help reduce process steps if faced with a car in the same colour that may not have the same level of gloss as this one. And for optimal colour reproduction, it makes sense that it is done by the same person who paints the car. Compare the colour cards to the vehicle on an area where the colour measurement has been done previously. This should be done in good daylight conditions where possible. As I mentioned, the car is prepared in mass. Now the prep work itself for matte colours does not require any specific process changes, but always it must be of good quality as any imperfection in the preparation stages will be more visible since matte colours absorb light and reveal mistakes more readily than a gloss finish. And don't forget to use the correct undercoat colour as stated in the colour software for your formula. Now we can see the car is ready to paint. Let's hand it over to Harold for base coat application. The base coat application process is related to whether you are using a water or solvent borne system. At this point, make sure you refer to the matte clear coat TDS as there may be differences related to the base coat process. We are using our premium water borne system which does require a change. This is a small but critical aspect for success. Basically, you need to ensure the entire repair is coated with either coloured base coat or blender. You must not leave any area uncoated as otherwise gloss differences will be visible. This is applicable for all of our waterborne base coat systems and colours for both solid and effect where the clear is recommended as part of a repair process. When it comes to using solvent borne base coat the application and blending process is as normal with no change required. If newly applied base coat has been overcoated with a normal gloss clear this must be thoroughly dried sanded and cleaned prior to overcoating the matte clear system. Please refer to the dedicated matrix table for the appropriate mixing ratio of the matte clear system and required gloss level when used on sanded old or original paintwork or clear coat. As a reminder, please see the matte clear TDS for information relating to your specific base coat quality you are using. When it comes to preparing the clear coat ready for use, it is simply a repeat of the correct combination of the two clears that you identified when you made your spray out cards. Stir the material thoroughly before each and every use, and it's worth noting here that we have left room for you to stir by deliberately underfilling the can so you do not lose material over the top or sides during stirring. The colour software will guide you through the required mixing steps. This helps with accuracy and reduces mistakes. There are guides for the different matte levels in the TDS, but using the colour software and weighing across the scale is strongly advised. Applying the matte clear is straightforward. It's a two coat process with an intermediate flash off. If you are familiar with how an MS clear would be applied, then using our new matte clear will be very easy for you. The first coat is a normal closed coat that just needs to be applied nice and evenly. Flash off time is 15 minutes. The second coat is a full coat and again is not difficult. The only point to stress is to stagger the overlaps to prevent high film builds in any one area and this is also of course good practice for any two coat clear. If both coats are not applied sufficiently wet and full then there is the possibility of patches being created. This is not a product that is applied in a light or mist coat followed by a full coat. Following this application advice is even more important when repairing very low gloss finishes. After application of the second coat, the final flash is 15 minutes. Activator or hardener choice is stated in the TDS and colour tools and in our training materials, so please only follow these recommendations. While our car is drying, let's look at an exception to the standard process that we used here. This is for what we classify as low side gloss finishes and these are a current trend with some OEMs. The only difference is related to the product preparation and here we've replaced the matte clear component with a matting agent which is already part of your branded product offer. This is mixed with the semi matte clear and again all of this is shown for those specific colours in our colour tools. Ultimately it's the result that counts and I hope you would agree that this looks good. With our innovative matte clear coat technology and a robust application process you can benefit from a product that delivers what you need in your shop for these types of repairs. The ability to provide the widest range of matte finishes in the refinish market. Easy to mix to give you your required matte level and of course easy to prepare to make it ready for use. 
As you will have seen, it's a simple and familiar application process requiring no special techniques. Very good drying, similar to that that you get with traditional clear coats. And finally, a system that gives you a uniform and consistent appearance. My last point is about care during reassembly of the car. It's not uncommon that some slight marking or marring of the fresh clear may occur. In such cases, these marks can be removed by gently cleaning the surface with a specific glass cleaner. Simply spray onto the affected area, allow it to stand for a few seconds, and then wipe off with a clean microfiber cloth. And if you remember the matte cleaner or polish we used earlier, this is a typical treatment for refreshing adjacent panels to help balance gloss level to your repaired area. Some are more a type of wax and others are more a cleaning type of spray. But what's important is that these are specialist products designed to protect rather than add gloss. Thank you for watching and also thanks very much to Harold for doing all of the repair work. We hope that this video will help you achieve successful results when repairing matte vehicles using our products in the future. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.